Hi, Rachel. Hi, Tony. How are you this morning? Good morning. Hello, Barbara. Good morning. It, it's good to see you again. Always good to see you, Barbara. So the course is over. Yeah, it's been an amazing course. It's been an amazing six weeks. I know it's been quite hard for a lot of people to keep up. Um, and I know a lot of people are still working through the course. And, and some people are still in quite early weeks. But the course is, yeah, it's over. But it's still available until the end of October for everyone to catch up. And the um, it's been amazing. It's been such an amazing course. Yeah, it's true that, uh, as usual, I mean, there are lots of information, lots of different information. But as we said, you know, it's all also good to uh, learn to choose what's most important for you and what's relevant for your practice because uh, as we mentioned at the beginning our aim was really to change practice and to 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 make people re reflect on their practice and to, in order to improve the quality of life of, of these children so i mean yes I, I know that people some people are struggling for the assignments how many of them managed to finish their assignments more or less Oh, we've got assignments coming in every day, so we're definitely up to a few hundred now, and I'm expecting quite a lot more over the next couple of weeks. Yeah, weekends are usually time to, to do these assignments. Uh, so that's good. So what would be your recommendation for doing these assignments? What would you, how could we help the people? What would be, yeah, there's some tips. Um, well, you saw the first assignments, what is the easiest to do, what is the most difficult, what is the most interesting, what would you recommend? I would, I mean, I would say um, choose something that you're interested in, choose something that, that interests you and, um, you know, if you're interested in exercise programs, then do an exercise program. If you're more interested in analysing your own patient and perhaps share one of your um, patient case studies with us, you know, there, we've made, we made a lot of options in the assignment so that you could choose something, so that people could choose something that was, um, that, that appealed to them so that they would find it easier. I mean, the yeah. main thing I would like to say is to make sure that they refer to the materials in the course when they write their assignment. So we're really looking for people to show us that they've paid attention during the course, that they've learned in the course and they're taking on the new knowledge and, and implementing it either in their practice or in just the, what they're writing, you know, which particular assignment they tackle. And the way to really do that is to actually use a reference, you know, to cite. Yeah. And obviously that's a little bit tricky, but it's, uh, it's something that we're doing looking for and you will get feedback if you don't uh, reference or cite you will probably be asked to do that before you pass yeah that's a that's a very important point i mean we see and we learn it when you do your bachelor degree you we are not very i mean uh, umberto eco wrote once that we are very small people on the shoulders of very giant people so there were people before us uh, and i think we have to learn from these people and to learn to reference because yes uh, some of us can become genius and invent things but we first have to uh, acknowledge that other people have uh, done very great work before us and we should use it. Now, reference is very important and uh, yeah, it's it's essential. I mean, and by the way, if uh, some of you are um, writing your abstract for the WCPT Congress, you will always also have to reference. So that's, uh, that's very important. So I had another question. Um, what's next on Physiopedia? Well, um, so this cerebral palsy course is part of our um, plan to develop a global health program. So the cerebral palsy course will always be available for everyone to access in the free trial account. So it's one of the courses that we will make available for free. So, so you know, these, re these resources in this course will always be available for anyone to access. Next for Physiopedia is our knee course. Our knee course starts on the 7th of November. So for all of you who do have a Physiopedia Plus account, you will also be able to access that course. It's a four week course. It's a little bit shorter, it could be a little bit smaller, it could be easier to keep up with, I think. Um, but yeah, the knee course will cover everything in the knee from, we'll cover functional anatomy, biomechanics, differential diagnosis, assessment and rehabilitation. So that will be done over four weeks. So, so you need to be a Physiopedia Plus member to access that. And so I would, so if I just can highlight that anyone that's been on the cerebral palsy course, we're offering a 50% discount on a Physiopedia Plus membership. So there is a discount code flying around that you can use oh. um it's in the emails um and it's also on the course page so so if you would like to access the knee course that's coming up next then you can 
do that with the discount code. And then after the knee course we have coming up next year, we release a course every two months. So coming up we have global health, um, stroke, um, cardiac rehab and evidence-based practice. I think that will take us through half of next year. Wow, wow, wow. This is exciting. Okay, Tony, can you just remind us how much is the Physiopedia Plus membership? So without, without, a, dis the without a discount, it's £99 a year. But as Rachel just mentioned, uh, participants in the cerebral palsy course, there is a 50% discount available. There are also other discounts depending on which country you might reside in. So go to the Physiopedia Plus site and have a look at the discount page. And then also, if you're not, if you don't qualify because of where you live, you can get a qualify if you're a student, and you can also qualify um, through being a participant in this course. And then the only other thing I'd quickly like to say is that we're in Liverpool at the European Region WCPT conference in November. So if anyone here is watching this is going to be at that conference, please do come and say hello in the exhibition area where we have a stand. It would be great to, to meet you face to face. It's always lovely to meet people who participate in our courses and you can give us feedback direct that way <laughs> and we can tell you more details about what we're up to, etc. And if you are a young person and you are a little bit impressed by all these very well-known people uh, hanging around at these congresses, Rachel and Tony are very easy, very kind, very gentle, easy to talk to, so don't hesitate. And maybe to finish on the ICSC point of view, I mean, for us, it was again uh, amazing because we got more contacts, we had lots of information, much more uh, references uh, in order to also, in our supported project, Project or in the ICSC projects uh, to better treat children with cerebral palsy, uh, as we did with the MPT course. Um, we hope to organize, or we will organize actually a, a course um, for the management of children with cerebral palsy and hopefully uh, co collaborate also with other NGOs working in this field. And the good thing, and uh, thanks very much to Physiopedia, we will not have to spend time to look for the references because we have the references now through the Physiopedia website. And of course, we will add some uh, in, in, in the coming years, but we, we won't have the, the difficult task and uh, the task which was made by all these experts from the world to, to build up the knowledge. The knowledge is there. Now we have to concentrate on the on the practical side of the training. And um, yeah, so hopefully we will collaborate again with Physiopedia in the coming year. And uh, thanks again, Rachel and uh, Tony, for your immense work and involvement uh, in favor of the children with cerebral palsy around the world and the physiotherapists and other professionals. Have a nice day then. Thank you, Barbara. Thank you. It's always an absolute pleasure to work with you and your team at the ICRC. So thank you very much. Thank you. And for the participants, please do your assignments. It's not too much. It's really worth because uh, other people will use also your assignments when they are in the project and they will be the best ones will be published on Physiopedia Plus and will be used by other people who have more problems than you to actually do the assignments. Thank you very much. Bye.